G'day, it's Guesty here to have a bit of a chat about owner hooks. Now, owner's been around for over 50 years of making hooks Japanese quality, and that's what we're looking for when we're hooking our favorite fish, big fish, or even possibly one of our PB fish that we want to get a photo of, let it go, or whatever you want to do with it, but it's important to have confidence in those hooks. So I use the cutting point and the needle point in the SSW range a heck of a lot, whether I'm using live bait uh, or I'm fishing with dead baits down a burly trail, so fantastic hook when it comes to snapper, when it comes to things like mulloway, or whether you're fishing the flats in the smaller sizes, and don't forget they come from a size two right up to a 10-0. I think I got up to a 9-0 here, but they even go to a 10 So if you're fishing great big live baits, they're perfect for that as well. They're also good when you rig them on wire. I use them in about that 4 5 size, tr slowly trolling live baits for things like spotted mackerel and Spanish mackerel and wahoo as well. So they cover a broad range, and I guess in my boat, I've always got um, different sizes there for different situations. As I said, whether I'm fishing for smaller fish on the sand flats or trying to burly up a, a snapper or a mulloway. Speaking of big fish, I remember catching a huge mulloway, a metre 63 long, up around that 40 kilo mark, fishing with my mate Barney, just bobby corking a live bait along a rock wall. I was using twin six o's in a live yellowtail, quite a big live yellowtail. I remember I hooked this fish. I was thinking it's gotta be a bull shark to go that hard. I can still remember like having my hand on the spool, the rod bent right over and swinging off this fish. And the one thing I wasn't concerned about was straightening those hooks. And that's so important when you want to land that fish of a lifetime. When it popped up, Barney and I were looking at this thing as this mega mulloway, and the hooks were just pinned perfectly right around the mouth. So I've got that black chrome nickel finish, makes them less visible underwater. So it makes your bait, whether it be a live bait or a dead bait, just look a little bit more natural underwater. And that's a really important point. They're offset. Um, the cutting point one here, which I've got, and they also come in the needle point. The cutting point I like for fish that have got really hard mouths. So they've got like a three axis bladed cutting tip. So they drive in really well. So if you're using nylon instead of braid, you can really set that hook quite easily. I think that's important. And then I use the needle point for fish with softer type mouths. But um, look, there's a range to suit pretty well every style of fishing. They come in the bulk packs or the smaller packs as well. So make sure you get yourself kitted up with some owner hooks.